Hey guys, welcome back to LS Text. Today I'm going to show you how you can use any light strips to work with your Google Home or your Alexa. So that's very great. So this will work with any light strips. I've just got a cheap one from Amazon here. You can pick up any one, they all look the same. Make sure you have the four pins so your power and your RGB color. So that's very great. So make sure it's one of those. Depending which one you get for your different remote, it doesn't matter. What you need to do is pick this up from Amazon. So this retails for just £10. It's the iGeek LED controller. I'm going to leave it in the description, guys, so you know where to find it. So this comes with this and a remote as well. This is what is going to enable us to connect this to your phone as well as your Google Home or your Alexa. So yeah, guys, let's set this up. So first of all, if you want to set this behind your desk, you can do that. I've already used one row behind the desk. This is my second row, but I'm going to use that to demonstrate. So yeah, guys, what we need to do first is connect this using this. You don't need to use the power brick you got included with the LED lights. You want to use this as your power source. That will connect to your power. You just want to use the cable you got included with the box. You want to connect this. I'm going to do that. Make sure it's in line. So the white is at the top. Make sure the arrow. And now we're going to connect this to power so let me do that okay as you can see guys i've connected this up now to power and it's already lighting up which is great so that now it's you working you can use the remote to change the colors what we want to use is a phone so what you want to do is download the magic home app so if you go to the play store and just search or on the app store for the magic home on ios it's called magic home and on android it's called magic home pro download open that up so I've downloaded already so you want to quickly sign in so I've already signed in then you want to go to add device so at the top there's like a plus sign you want to click on that click add device and you can see mine's already find it but if you just hit refresh it's gonna show up so mine's already showing up as LED net 91474F so that's probably this one here so what I'm gonna do when I click on that now it's asking me to connect that to the Wi-Fi, so I'm going to do that. Enter my password. Hit confirm. Give that a few more seconds to connect. So now it's connecting, so you just want to be patient while it's doing that. Let it stop the green now. But it's still connecting here. It's going to wait for a few more seconds, guys. Be patient. And one more thing guys, this will only work on the 2.4 GHz network, so when you have to connect it the first time, you have to use that, but afterwards, it will use your Google Home afterwards, so you can work on your 5 GHz, so that's prob no problem, so I'm going to call this Desk Light, hit done, and now it's connecting, so you can see it's here now, so I can change color, you can change, see, color is changing I can go to any color and it's just going to change as well so that's very right you've got some default here so if I go to the blue I can set that as one of my default colors so I can always pick that whenever I want and down here you've got a brightness control so you can dim your brightness of the light as well which is very nice I'm going to keep it on a medium level like 75% See that's fine and down here you've got other functions as well so if you've got your warm color and your cool colors so if you want to choose any of those you can do that you've got your warm there you've got your cool on this side if you want to mix in between you can do that you've got other functions so if you want some fading green stuff going on so that's very nice but I'm just gonna keep this as a nice blue but that's how you can use the app if you just want to use the app. If you want to enable this to your Google Home or your Alexa, you want to open that up. So I'm going to use Google Home, so I'm going to open the Google Home app. What you want to do is click on Add, Set Up Device, and you want to have you want to come to this the one that says Works with Google. Click on that. Just give that a few seconds to load. And what you want to find is the Magic Home Wi-Fi app. As you can see, I've already found that. You just want to click a link on that. It's going to ask you to sign into your same account you used to create your Magic Home account. So you will do that. And then you will come back. If you, after you've done that, 
is this going to connect and down here we see as a new device it's coming as LED controller so I'm going to click on that and it's going to be this one hopefully as you can see it's already at 75 like I said before but now I can turn this up and down so that's very nice I can turn it on and I can turn it on so now it's using the Google Home but now I'm going to use my Google Home to control the lights so let's do that Oh yeah, before that if you want as you can see here it's coming up with the name again so if you click on the settings you can change that so let's quickly do that so I know it's easier for me to call that as a desk desk light it's safe and it's saved now so if I go back it says desk light I can just quickly add that to the home and to my office so it's in my office with all my other office stuff so that's done now. So what I can do is now ask Google now. So I can be like, okay Google, turn turn off the desk light. Okay, turning the desk light off. Okay Google, turn on desk light. Sure, turning the desk light on. As you can see that worked very well. So that's really nice. Now I can change the color as well. So okay Google, change desk light to purple okay changing the desk light to purple as you can see that changed the color okay google dim desk light by 50 percent sure dimming the desk light by 50 percent you can see now this works very well so you can dim change color turn on and off the very great and this will work with any lights it doesn't matter if it's rgb and rgb white as well mine's to rgb white but you should work with any cheap light straight for 10 20 pounds finding on ebay or amazon i'm going to leave the one i used in the description if you don't want to check it out the main thing is you want to get this device so the iGeek controller but there's a few different ones but i'm going to leave the one i've used you can see it's just so simple now you can control your lights tell it to turn it off and on and it's just so simple you don't need to get some expensive Philips Hue light or anything like that you can just use this setup so this light is only 12 pounds and then the controller is 10 pounds so that's only 22 pounds for this setup as you can see it's really nice but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe leave a like and I'll see you on the next one guys take care